everybody to this best of one quarter final for the mountain trail challenge with my insanity versus the balkan bears with me today is dragon dropped out man how are you doing i'm doing great man and looking forward to a great match and even though it's brutal one uh best of one style we do have a lower bracket so and this is the upper bracket so even if you lose here as either myi or the balkan bears still got another chance yeah you're not just straight out of the tournament you will be facing up versus uh, Moscow 5 if you lose though. And if you win, <laughs> you don't really have the easy matchup either. Then you're facing <laughs> in the semi-final versus London Conspiracy. And they're just looking on top of their game right now. So Yeah, we've got some great teams in this tournament. Uh, as you said, LC waiting in M5 on the other end. Not really an easy matchup for either of these teams. Uh, they're pretty much evenly matched, I would say, if not... Uh, if nothing else, and then we've still got Vega and He left to be played out. I think it's playing right now, is it? As well? Vega uh, no! It, it just ended, actually, and oh, okay. Hey is... Hey, hey is... Uh, won that one from Vega. Oh, wow, that's actually surprising, because Vega has been has been kicking it recently. Yeah, so that, that now means that Vega is versus uh, SFC. In a best of one, in a lower bracket. So, I don't know when they will be playing, though, but that's actually... Really scary match to be looking at, like. Yeah, some of the best uh, uh, European Dota has to offer here in that second tier, so to speak. I mean, it's not the biggest names, of course, they're all busy Five with uh, with all the lands going on. But still, some really, really good teams coming out. And also some really good Reserve games, time. I would hope. As we have one shaping up right here with Queen of Pain and Visage picked up by BB. And Beastmaster and Lion for my insanity. So, so far, so standard, maybe? Yeah, though so I, I am wondering what is my insanity thinking about right now because you see a visage. Is it like your first thought that pops in your head? Bendro, Bendro, Bendro. Yeah. Like Lycan is a good second bend and part of that, but you still like Bendro. <laughs> and they kind of have to Bendro, they don't have the first pick going into the second phase. And if you let that through the banning stage, then you know the BB is going to pick it up, especially since they already have the Queen of Pain. Which is also able to benefit so much from that extra damage, not just in the laning phase, but of course later on as well. Uh, because that's what the Queen of Bane does. Just blink in, blow her load, and then right click a bit here and there. And if these right clicks are all the more dangerous, then sure, why don't that? I mean, uh, time. the interaction with the Visage got a little bit of a nerf. I think um, previously there was a bug where the Visage familiars always benefited from, from the aura like heroes did. But now they only benefit it from when you actually activate it on on the draw ranger. So a little bit worse, but I still think that it's a really good combo and that the yeah. Barking Bears would go for that. And okay, they have the option now. Spirit break a band out for my insanity instead. I think they're not as scared for it though. But we're like with the new draw uh, draw our position our uh, interaction. But still, it essentially you just really have to use it in the fights or in the pushes. But what is the? I think what is the? the cooldown on the precision hour like Five 150 seconds, seconds or something something huge like that yeah. yeah definitely more than two minutes yeah so Reserve that's time. it's pretty big but if you can just time it on the correct times it's still so strong yeah like a mini ultimate for for the visit familiars right it just turns into two to three extra heroes if you depending on whether or not you have the agonim yeah they go with the ventral spirit first though so now's the question does my insanity want to pick up the draw for themselves? And yeah. I, I, I kind know. of think BB is trying to, you know, lure them into doing that. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking too. Because why wouldn't you not pick up the draw now? I mean, eventually, but I, I don't know. Maybe they really wanted that too for the extra synergy with uh, with the minus arm and the extra aura too. Maybe oh, valuing that uh, percentage based aura from the eventual spirit later on a little bit more. Depending on what kind of plans they are, maybe they want to. Uh, they also have a, a backup plan, so to speak, for the draw if, if she was banned out or picked up now to have a melee carry that would benefit from that, obviously, more. But my insanity go for a Sky of Mage, so draw still left on the board. Yeah, they have the, the safer draw with the Vengeful. That yeah. makes the Sky of Mage not that scary. Like you can just swap them out if he gets initiated yeah. on with the Mystic Flare. Yep. Yeah. Right now, my insanity don't really have a big gap close on, uh, until the Beastmaster picks up a Blink Dagger. I'm mean, sure that Raw will always be a good initiation, but you need to be able to follow up on that if you if you get the Raw on the on the draw range. And then, as I said, the Ventral Spirit 
uh, if she's there, then she'll always be able to get her out of trouble too. Plus, maybe Queen of Pain coming in from the back and wrecking your shit while you try to gank up the Drow. And Visage can also be quite a nice brawler there. With the Soul Assumption and the Grave Chill. Can do quite some work in, in, in the mid-game stages. Early on, maybe not so much without help, but... Visage and Spirit, Spirit, actually not the worst combo either when it comes to fighting uh, like a try-on-try -try situation. Maybe not ganking so much. Uh, yeah. That being said, though, if, if they get a couple of levels, you're level 2 in the Wave of Terror, or one level in Stun for Eventual Spirit should be enough, and then the slow and two levels on the Soul Assumption, they might have enough to get someone like Lion or Scar of Mage. Those aren't exactly the tankiest supports, so... Yeah, if they get a couple of levels, they should have that capability. Yeah, that is true, but I'm still just wondering what is Balkan Bears doing, because they're also already dipping into the reserve time. Like, what are they thinking of? Like, you have the obvious choice to draw. If you don't pick that, let's say, then they maybe do Quop on the safe lane. Put Viper middle, and then you can still maybe try to pick up something else later on. Yeah. Uh, that's also a possibility. Because, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe they're being uh, double mind gamed right now, and they're like, oh my god, my insanity is not picking up the draw, they don't want to take it away from us. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, let's just go with, with the backup plan that we had anyway. Yeah, let's, let's just make the slaughter. slaughter here, and yeah, that's all of a sudden, you have a pretty strong minus armor strat here. Eventual Spirit, Slaughter, Visage too. Visage is one of these heroes that can and will build up a uh, Medallion of Courage and a Solar Crust. Well, um, with the Vengeful Spirit, actually, you don't have to build it up. You can also just rush the Agony Because yeah. Vengeful can actually just get that one as well. You can do that too, yeah. So, that's of course a possibility there. But we'll see how that pans out. But yeah, Visage is a hero that does fairly regularly build up a uh, Medallion into Solar. So this, is, uh, this is going to be an aggressive try line, right? Slardar, Visage, Vengeful. Yeah, definitely can be. Definitely can be, yeah. Not so sure about a level 1 time. fight, though, or a level 2 fight, because Lion and Scarf, I, I would give the kick to them. Yeah, um, that would be tough to fight into. Yeah. And Brave King is also fairly tanky. So. Yeah. And the cool thing about Brave King, or heroes like him, is that if you put him in the 1 position and farming position, yeah. he can be the one initiating, because he has that he has that projectile stun that actually lasts for quite a while, so that gives enough time for Scarf Mage and Lion to come in and chain the stuns properly without having to expose themselves initially, so... Yeah, even Slaughter, he can can be caught up by that. That is. I'm yeah. just. I want to see like something coherent for the Balkan Bears because right now it it is like a storm strategy, but it is fairly built into like fighting, keep on fighting a little bit. And if Slaughter doesn't have a good time, if they don't snowball, they're gonna have a really big problem. It's all about snowball as well, like yeah. fighting, snowballing, keep on going. Yeah, I think if they can survive the first couple of levels, if my insanity don't oh, put on too much pressure, then it should be alright. And yeah, it's gonna be defensive trial lane, most likely with the Darkseer in the offlane. Um, I have seen Darkseer shut down pretty damn heavily though, up to a point where they are still level 1, like 7, 8 minutes in. Um, should be able to get at least a couple of last hits with the, um, with the Ion Shell, maybe. Yeah, that's received but also he, quite a big buff, so... Yeah, but it can't really be get too close to Lion and Scar of Mage. He, he will really get protect harassed you out. If you get, yeah, you will get harassed out, and Surge won't really help you um, if the Rave King got a stun off on you. Five seconds remaining. No, and with the silence as well, you might not even be able to guess it. Reserve time. Agent Shield yeah. in your face, and then it's also over. Yep. Yeah. It's all with all, it really is a snowballing lineup coming out from the Balkan Bears. Yeah. They really, really bank on the fact that Mind Sandy won't shut them down from minute one. If they can do that, they're actually pretty strong. With Darkseer a couple of levels in, he can always rotate into the jungle to find his farm there, whatever he wants to pick up, maybe Blink Dagger, something along those lines, or Mechanism, like like the old school Darkseers. Um, Slaughter as well, if he gets a couple of levels, he can actually be a strong brawler here once he hits level six, obviously, with that extra minus armor, the sprint maxed out, plus the crush. With the help of the Visage and Ventral Spirit and the Queen of Pain, it's, it's actually a very strong mid-game lineup if they can get to the point, if they don't fall too far behind. Five because on the other hand, you have a Rave King who's a little bit more passive maybe, but the Storm Spirit is not, not by a long shot. Neither is the Beastmaster. Once he hits this level 6, he will want to start rotating around. Storm Spirit, pretty much the same, Lion Skyrov, a good support to combo that up with. So, I really like, like my Insanity's lineup here.
if they get ahead, then they should be able to stomp the Balkan Bears. If Balkan Bears get ahead, I th still think that MRI can fight up against those against them. Yeah, they just need to hold their ground because I think yeah, late game I want to say my SNT win by a pretty long shot. Having the lockdown yeah. as well with Mitch there. Yeah, I mean Slaughter is pretty good, but it, it, he it is, can't by most look. definitions an anti carrier of sorts, right? I mean he he's not doing too much damage output on late game of zone. Simply because he just doesn't have the base attack time. I mean, Queen of Pain is good, Visages can be super great. Vengeful Spirit is a will in some circumstances. That's actually might be the the big question mark here as to her impact in a late game. Because that venge vengeance aura that scales pretty damn nicely. But yeah, all things considered, you have a Wraith King, even if you burst him down once. Uh he's gonna come back, slow you down, maybe get an Aglum Scepter even to um Get that rave status to the rest of his teammates. Probably not, though. It's more of a pop thing. But yeah, then you got the Storm Spirit, who was always going to be great. Um, once the BKBs then start running low again later on. And Beast Mills, of course. Long range initiation with the Blink Roar. If he gets an Aghanim Scepter, which is viable, that's a 45 second cooldown. Plus the Blink Hacks and the Lion, so. Yeah. There will be Very a lot. good tools for them in the late game. Yeah. Also in the mid game already, if they can at least yeah. get up the Blink Dagger on Lizard. Yeah, absolutely. But let's just go over the team's rule fast before all hell breaks loose. We have Mitch for my insanity on the dire side playing Beastmaster. And we have Grazim playing the Skyrev Mage. We have Milan playing the Storm Spirit. We have Gogi playing the Rave King. And we have Lizard on his Lion. On the other side of the river, we've got Yapzor on the Vengeful Spirit here, roaming around the jungle. He's going to be joined by Miracle standing here playing the Slaughter. Hook playing the Queen of Pain out of mid, Abu Dhabi on the Visage, and that leaves the offlane for the Darks here, played by the Coon. And they want to make sure that Mitch doesn't give up an easy ward. Just make sure that he can't get off the block there, so he just has to walk back. Maybe yeah. try to go for the for the rune ward or something, but even that will be spotted out. Yeah, maybe he just wants to see what's going on here, what kind of heroes are down here in the bottom. Yeah. Just to try and confirm the lanes and see what he's up against. I mean, he. He, <coughs> um, he might be able Bless to. You. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit sick today, so. Uh, that can happen, man. can happen. Yeah. Angry, Not too bad, though, but yeah. Um, point is, uh, for Beastmaster, you should be able to get a couple of others in this lane. If worst comes to worst, you can always just stack the ancients for himself. If you want to go for that max, max access build, you can even start farming, uh, farming them up, but. More than likely, we're going to see him uh, max out the Call of the Wild and maybe a value point to in, a, in a beast if they want to start pushing, but apart yeah. from that. You usually see those uh, Zookeeper uh, builds coming out lately. Yeah. Getting a boar. There we go. And so nice. far, he might actually be able to get a little bit of XP now while the Vengeful is not there yet. Yep. Yeah. And as I said early on, Visage and Vengeful Spirit uh, aren't the best because, I mean, sure, you have a little bit of control with the slow, you have a little bit of lockdown, but until you get a couple of levels into the Wave of Terror for the extra minus armor for your right clicks and the Soul Assumption for that finishing move, um, you can't actually do too much. So, Mitch absolutely uh, uses that knowledge to be very aggressive here, dishing a lot of harassment towards the Visage. Yeah, he is. I don't think he will ever get the kill though, but as long as he keeps his distance far enough from Miracle, so he can't even, even if he gets stunned by Yepsor with the Magic Missile. And actually, that's gonna be the first lot of middle by Hook. He's low HP though. Oh, the range creep hero! Uh, <laughs> He's just gonna <laughs> buy out. <laughs> but he does against. give 130 gold actually away to the storm with that. Or... Yeah. A little bit of a payback here. I did not quite expect that. Normally, you don't. I mean, normally Storm Sword and Queen of Pain kind of a classic ma matchup in mid and relatively even, so... Yeah, especially at level 2 or 3, you don't really expect one yeah. of them to get a kill. I mean, maybe at level 6, I mean, yeah. uh, with the Queen of Pain, if you, if you get surprised by that, by the ultimate, there's little enough mana here, Storm Sword before level 6, of course, liable to get ganked once he supports down, maybe you rotate out of the lane. Yeah, um, but until that point, that's not really the lane that you're looking yeah. at. Like, the only thing that you really look there is how is the CS going and denying that apart from that it should be fairly even. Yep. Guess, but yeah. It's fine, he got some gold, I guess. It could have been worse. 
Uh, well, the first blood go uh, the first blood goal is actually yeah it goes away. Uh, the deciding factor in that. If, if he didn't get that extra bit of b bonus, then that wouldn't have been as worth it. I would say. Yeah, but then he wouldn't stand still and just let himself be killed by any yeah. groups either. He just wanted a short trip back. He didn't want to lose any yeah. speed. And they have an Invis rune on uh, Abu Dhabi right now. They might be able to catch him off guard right now. Jepster is walking fairly aggressive. There is going to be the Grave Seal. Magic Missile hits him. Oh, Miracle, he's getting close. Is he going to get this crush off? He is not. And Oh, actually, he is. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he even need out. the Sword of Salvation. There. It's a very patient play. I mean, Miracle is going to eat a lot of harassment for that from the tower, but he wants to give that kill to him. I was actually thinking that he might have been able to just run like best here and just keep on running, but he just ran like this. He made the small good in and got yeah. himself a little bit blocked, it seemed like. I mean, turn rate is a thing in Dota, yeah. right? And yeah. there you actually see it make a difference. It takes just a little bit longer. Just uh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. At least he made them work for it. Run a little. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, if you get caught up like that, maybe not ex the thing is though, Mitch saw uh, the Invis rune pick up, but he just didn't think that they were able to convert that onto him. No. But yeah, he actually, I think he saw uh, at least the uh, Jepster rotate out here to go and stack, so he knows that he can just really stay on the lane right now. Oh, that miracle isn't that strong for him. Oh, he does get up a push there. He's using his uh, a sprint there to keep up to him, but I don't think he can kill him either. The boar doing a lot of damage here. Well, he goes in on Mitch again, oh. crush. Mitch, he wants to kill this one off the Axis miss. No. Ah, Level one Axis that should have been able, to, should have been enough to kill him though with uh, almost. Yeah, it should be really close, but now he has to look out. Yeah. This is just waiting for the next one to get back, and it seems like uh, the coon has just given a little bit of his offlane off, and he just went into the jungle, which was we just stacked by yeah. the uh, by Jepser. Uh, and, and yeah, as I said, he, he w uh, was still level 1 coming into this now, so he kind of has to do this now. Because he got zoned out so hard, but it's kind of fun and that he, he gets on the top two now. Oh no, Jepster, he's got out. out. He tries to go for Milan, but Milan just turns it around of him. No mission there, he gets killed. And now, Hook is still there, and on bottom they get Michigan. So. Yep. Yeah. Get the crash off, solo assumption to finish Miles, so. Does Mitch a little bit too far forward there, and why don't they have a prop turret? They still have the freaking donkey here on the side of BB. Dude, so donkeys weird. rule the world. Now you can't call it a chicken. That. I'm like, hey, what, what kind of skin is that? And I'm like, oh god, then one. I'm pretty sure that Lizard <laughs> always wants to buy the uh, the courier for my insanity, just because of the name Lizard. Yeah, uh, trusty <laughs> Lizard. <laughs> Who can blame him, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you have a, a career that looks a little bit like your name, you know, use it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I think Wish they just I had wait. A dragon courier. Don't they have like a coon, like something that looks like a coon as career? Like a weasel or something. Yeah. I think sure. they have one, right? Yeah. So I think coon should have should Wasn't be buying. Wasn't like a summit courier at some point or a BTS courier, like a um, weasel thingy? Yeah, yeah. I think or so. Was it? Well. Yeah. I think it's BTS, yeah. So Didn't get in that one. Oh. Doesn't matter, Kun is the offline, so he wouldn't buy it oh, anyway, and they go in on Grazine. He's gonna get the Asian seal off, but it doesn't matter, he will still die. Lizard walks in, Hex is there, zip in for Milan. Pullback is gonna be... Well, he's gonna use it right now, and that will be the end of Hook. And now, they're gonna go after Yepsor, will there be a stun? Three seconds left. There's no yeah, dark potential here though, because Milan is already getting zoned out here by Abu Dhabi. Grave Chill is onto him. Not a lot of soul stacks right now. Ooh, he almost dodged this scream there. Actually, really weird how the scream works. Uh, uh, sometimes you see these kind of uh, kind of projectiles that come out of it. Yeah, and uh, this one followed him. Yeah. Again, that one followed him after the zip, so he still got hit, but. Yeah, they don't lose another one, they actually get a buyback off of that. I mean, an early game buyback doesn't really cost a lot of gold, but still. Oh, oh no! Hook oh. just, well, completely what? missed his ultimate there on Mitch. And because of that, he can walk off and he might just die here. He has six seconds before he can jump out. There's coming, Milan's coming in, he doesn't have his pullback. Oh, no, and he's able to get out. Not getting pulled back there. Oh. That was almost very silly there from Hook if, if he died there. Yeah, but he oh, just... Man. Oh, I want to say he whiffed a little bit on the 
on this sonic uh, wave there onto Mitch. Yep. Well, it seems like MYI uh, got away there without got away there by yeah, just being very lucky at this point. Yeah. There. But yeah, uh, one thing I want to flag here for Milan on Stormfield is that. He actually went that one point into the electric vortex, the value point, and it's actually not something that we see a lot of songs builds do. I mean, if you want to go that really greedy route, you max overlord, sure, he did that too, but then you just not get a point into the vortex at all. But uh, in the pickup on hook earlier, it, before the buyback, uh, they actually had to use it, otherwise the blink out would have, would have come. So just for that, these kind of niche cases, uh, would, ex would normally expect more people to do it that way. But... Yeah, it's yeah, really I, just. I really like you, it, he does it you just really pick it up once you're like against those high mobility heroes, just to be able to keep them down a little bit longer. And yep. yeah, this is indeed those niche case. Yeah, and we have another pause here coming out. So let's just look at it how it's going right now while we have this little bit of break. We have Gogi. He's just pretty much just free farming here on top. He got his 51 uh, CS, 13 denies, and he seems to be building up, I'm gonna assume, he's gonna be building a Midas. Yeah, him banking up a lot of golds indica would indicate that, um, or maybe just maybe a Blink Dagger. Yeah, if but they want to go aggressive, but I don't really see that, I mean... I don't they... think you want to Blink Dagger first no. and just... Like, if you just get a Midas, you can get your fast levels and... It just makes, well, the late game 100% sure into your way, and... Yep. There we go again, we're back up into it. Now, I don't think they really need him to join the fights anyway, and that, that would be the situation where you would pick up the blink to maybe help initiate, but yeah, as I as we said before, at the beginning of the game in the draft, I mean, they have a they have a good lineup that can fight even without him here between Stormspurs, the Lion, Skyrath, as well as the Beastmaster, who's getting his level 6 now in mid, just now, so... Actually, what's he has is... They don't necessarily need him. Once he's level 6, they can just easily rotate in the middle and just kill Hook again. Yeah. Like, it's not like he's a hard kill once he's locked down. I do like this though, Grugine on bottom, he's just getting the bot lane and just getting some XP going his way, so we're level 4 now and yeah. He, he's past a crucial level 3 point as a Skyrock Mage, where you're really combat effective and everything else above that, at least early on in the first couple of minutes, you, you can do without, uh, theoretically. But yeah. having these 3 levels at least, and now the 4th level of course as well, and with the extra point into the Ancient Seal, um, that's where you you have your whole arsenal available. This Asian shield is really just put in there to keep uh, to keep hook down on the quap. Yeah. That Maybe a little bit of surge. So surge might be as well if you see uh, if you of course get uh, the coon out. Yep. If you can get the drop on him, of course it's it's pretty much goes for any hero that relies on spells to you know, to be mobile. And Dark Seer, Queen of Pain, uh, other blink heroes like um, even Timbersaw, these kind of heroes that. We really want to use the spells and use them uh, for their mobility. If you take that away, obviously you're gonna have a much easier time. So, maxing out the Ancient Seal in this game, particularly up against both Darkseer as well as the Queen of Pain and, and Slaughter as well even. I mean, he's most likely going to, uh, to pop sprints before going in and then going out and last a while. But yeah, once again, if you can get that off before, you get, um, before he uses the sprint, then he should be much, much slower and much easier to catch up with if he wants to run away. Yeah, but I think he wants to look out a little bit with the sprint because you're playing versus a lion and a skyrim. If you get an ultimate on oh, your yeah. face while it's on, that it's actually <laughs> really, really yeah. bad. That's a good point. You want to watch out for that. It's 15% damage only in, in quotation marks, but it's it's still a lot if you're thinking about a lion which has an ultimate that does 600 magic damage. So, so well, let's <laughs> minus reduction, you end up with like. Normally with just above 500, or yeah, yeah about that. And then with with this, you just easily almost hit your full potential. You get what 10% off it, so it ends up being 540 damage. Yep, it's just so much more when you think about it, especially in these early game engagements. But he, he's not greeting out. He's actually just going for tranquils first. He's, he isn't like I'm going to want that blink dagger first. <laughs> I really uh, just who is? expect him to push. Hmm? Who, who is going for Tranquil's? Lizard, he's not going like Lizard, full oh, on yeah. greed. Just going for the... Yeah. Uh, not after Brown Boot, straight into the blink <laughs> and just try to make stuff happen. Uh, yeah, it would be silly. I mean, you're not always going to get it unless the game is really passive. And don't think they really want to go too passive. They kind of have... Yeah, have the option to 
do something right now. They also have to have the option to to react to anything BB might do, right? They have a Queen of Pain also. They have uh, some support some support heroes that don't necessarily need to go late game. They can turn on right now once Visage gets his level six, which he he's leeching some now down here, leeching some XP now down here in bottom lane. Um, so you won't have to try and kill this line anyway, because then you pretty much never have to go back to the fountain. You have your healing regen, uh, your health regen with the tranquils, and then your mana regen, of course, with the mana drain. To some degree. They're not gonna smoke up here and look for a pickup down in the bottom. Yeah, I think they already kind of noticed it, because look at this, they're already walking back straight away. Yeah, Miracle, he's, he's close to his blink. Oh, he, he's walking back into this. And they have a ward there, but they don't see anyone, so they think they're safe. Now they do, though. The Miracle oh, no. pops the sprint to get out. So Milan not jumping quick enough. It might have been a, an easy kill here on Miracle if they were if more just jumped straight there, into but... the river. Yeah. And we have that was one of the situations where the Observer Ward actually works against you because under the cover of smoke, of course, you don't you don't see them. So when you look at the map and you don't see anything, and you're like, okay, yeah, we're good. We can we can walk around here. We can walk uh, up on the river, no problem. Then suddenly you reveal the smoke. Milan is right there up on the cliff edge. And you're like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? And well. They just start they got off running. With a scare there. <laughs> yeah. They got off with a with a shock and a scare and but nothing more, unfortunately for MII. The good thing that they do actually have is that they're just farming all over the map right now. It's not like they're just stuck all there in bot, like they have Krasine on top, getting his level 6, they have Gogi in the jungle, using his Midas. Also already really close to his uh his if he wants to go with to his blink. Because Cuisine should, a miracle should almost have his, yeah, about 100 gold up. So. Yeah, other options would be Radiance, which I'm not convinced, but... I mean, it has got a... It has they got might a go Armored. Or oh, Armored, yeah, Armored is really good. Really good, actually. And if you want to go farm, you sometimes <coughs> get uh, Milstrom, although it's a little bit... 3, 4 metas ago, yeah. but yeah. There's, there's really a lot of things you can go on Wraith King, I mean, if one go... Like like the hipsters do and build a Sanjin Yasha, you can probably do that too. Um, and then later down the line, probably a soldier us, these kind of things. Maybe even a BKB in this game. Uh, does help. Well, it does help out versus yeah. at least the stuns and stuff. Yeah. And the point of the problem is of a Rave King is just being, well, guided around all the time. Yeah. I can see this being a BKB game for sure. Oh, but it's going to be the Blink Dagger for now, so. Once again, one have the option to fight back at the very least. Maybe even, yeah, get a couple of good pickups here with the tower push. I mean, just pick it up. They also reveal it here. If, uh, if BB is clicking on a Rave King, they will see the blink dagger. And, so they will not try and defend this tower, but instead they're gonna they have something else in mind. Smoke into Roche. Yeah, we've we've just mined this armor here. This just drops like they're already TPing in. He might let us say he might try for a steal. Yes. Yeah, he has space in it. He's looking for this. He's looking for this. Oh. Little bit more. Little bit more. There he goes. Does he get it? No, he doesn't. So he will just sit out with Lizard. <laughs> he just gets <laughs> swapped in. <laughs> Cute play. Sadly, didn't work out. Yeah, you can try it. Like you're not at any crucial turning points to not do it. So. Yep. And again, if you got stunned there by like a random crush. Yeah, uh, that would have been. Slada, expecting that kind of a that kind of a zip in then. It would have been much worse. I mean, lion dying, I mean, it sucks, but it's not really all that crazy. Oh god. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Hello. That Goodbye. was good map awareness there. Knowing that he got it and Visage dies due to, I'm gonna assume, Mystic Flare into a, a nice pull in by the. Yeah, yeah. By Mitch. But hey, hashtag space created. The tier 2 will probably go down because of that. I don't really push the tier 1 too heavily here, it's still pretty damn healthy and it's only Milan. Well, they're pushing uh, Gogi with on Gogi is pushing up top right now. Oh yeah, oh, I actually yeah, didn't see that. They're TPing two in. Yeah, okay, Ooh. he got the blink, so he's fine. Oh no, but there was a Miracle force of blink on Miracle as well, screaming there. This is gonna be his first ultimate down recognition. He comes back, he needs to start running. This minus armor will do a lot of work versus him. And there's already uh, help in the way. Mitch is there, he uses Raw and Hook. Will it be the follow up though? Gogi, oh, no, Chris is there in place. However, Miracle might just pay with this. He will lose his. No, he doesn't. There's a good Sonic Wave coming out, killing Gogi. Now they're going after Mitch. There's not even going to be an Aegis expanded here while well, he just gets another kill on the Miracle on Slaughter. 
there's just some really good logistics there, a lot of um, yeah, the supply routes, so to speak, you would talk about in like proper warfare probably. <laughs> um, they kind of wanted to keep Rave King from dying the second time after he proc his ulti, so they MOI teleported a couple of heroes up top. But then uh, the help came in just, just at the same time with the mech on, on the darks here, keeping, um, yeah, okay. keeping Miracle alive even after being hexed up. And then I really love Miracle's movement as well. He didn't like follow him straight. I mean, uh, he did like walk around here to maybe then get a blink, a blink cross after the damage over time from the wavefire blast ended. But instead, then the, the roll was down here on what was it, on, on hook. Yeah, so he decided, and okay, and he waited a little bit longer. He waited for, um, waited for Gogi to come back in, so he could get a double crush off one here and one there. It got hacked up, but that was enough time for Hook to survive, get a Sonic wave off, and the rest of his team to join in and then uh, finish the job. So, very good series of events there for BB. And yeah, this is Gogi. He didn't like that. He has one death and zero kill participation. Yeah. <laughs> He is not happy about this at all. He's going actually straight up into Blade Mill right now. He doesn't want to be nuked down. He wants to make sure that he can at least move around a little bit freely without all of them trying to focus on him and burst him down. Yeah. Uh, but I can't help but feel that MYI starts having some more pressure put on them. Uh, not just on the other lanes, but also in terms of having to execute because LVB is 5 main right now, as you can see. So. They will take every single RT tower, they won't stop at the stage of bottom. This is uncontested right now because MYI can feel they can really fight and who can blame them? I mean you have Stormsford who is more of a single target hero and yeah, team fight he wants to skirt around the edges, yeah. And and you have a Beastmaster who's also a single target. You have a Rave King show, but his ultimate was on cooldown. So you can't really fight uh, fight without that at this point in the game either. Well, Lizzie was, level, Lizzie was level 11, I believe, when he died, so yeah. it could have been worse. But yeah, it's... That's, yeah, it's I, I it's think that's the one problem with my sense lineup. Like, it's all to pick off single target oriented. Yeah. Everything apart from a red thing, I mean, if, if he's in the middle of the fight and forcing everyone to, to commit onto him, then the rest of the team has a lot more room to, room to operate. But apart from that, save for a really great Impale from the line, or Earth Spike, what it's called, you're really lacking on, on crowd control that is more on, the, more on more than one target. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. What does Hook actually have right now? Yes, BKB, I felt so already, that's all the main. So he, you can't even keep the, uh, <coughs> the Quap down anymore. He can just yep. blink around freely. Only the roar now, and I'm not yeah. sure if that's enough to actually bring him down because he's still lacking physical damage unless uh, unless Gogi is right on top of him, maybe gets a couple of lucky crits. But even then, it's only a 200% chance right now, 50% uh, chance with 200% damage, which isn't all that great. Oh, they were manhunting Milan. I actually yeah, really like this pickup. Did you see it already on Jepture? He bought a gem. They're just completely denying all map vision on the side of my safety. Like they're not even gonna give him anything there. That's very nice. And at the same time, look, this aggressive was a reward here. Bet that for quite a while. Only just noticed it now. But giving him so much intel from from the movements outside of the base here for MII. Yeah, and with that, you also evade like this obvious ward support here, which is sentry just put down by Grazine. Yeah. Like sometimes those just do so much more when you just go out of the ordinary spots and just force them. Oh yeah. And just look at this, they're like forcing everybody all around to map, but they will yeah. find Abu Dhabi here and he will just take a fall here, but he was just a little bit out of position there. But it's it's still just a visage. Like yeah. you just wait out his death timer. You're probably waiting for a rush before you really try something else. Or maybe a pick up for two. Yeah, maybe yeah, they're pressuring the bottom lane right now, and maybe if they, if they see an opportunity, they will bring down the to top and invade the dives and jungle again. But yeah, I agree. I don't really think they will push it without an agent. Though, speaking of pushing it, Milan wants the apps are here, but we really have too much mana to play with, unfortunately. He, he doesn't have his bloodstone yet, which I, yeah. I think he's going for with the energy booster there. Yeah. Octreme core is a bit too early for it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you need the bloodstone, you need that big man region and the problem with the bloodstone is you start you need to start getting some kills as well uh, so just stagnate like a lot of other items um 
But yeah, he, he definitely needs something, otherwise he's just gonna not gonna be combat effective. Or when he is, he's not gonna be for long. Or, or, or sustained. That's what, that's what the mana region on Stormsport is all about, of course. Yeah, just to be able to keep on going and going yeah. and going. Like, never stop. Not having to go back to base after a fight where you expend all your mana. You can just walk around a little bit. And then you'll be fine. Just walk it off, essentially. But he should have it fairly soon. Yeah, he's, he's already pretty close to it. He's just trying he to carefully break. plays as well. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't want to like die just before he starts to get it up because if like Milan dies or Bogey dies twice or even once actually, it's already going to be really tough for my sanity because then they will lose their top two, <coughs> top tier two on on top like for sure. Yeah. No way for them to protect that. And especially with now Slardo having his BKB. Another yeah. really big pick off. I mean, now you have two he two really dangerous heroes with BKBs and you can only roll one of them, right? Yeah. And even, even then, then you have, have one the problem. Waves, you have to swap and you have so many things to you know, keep them safe even after being rolled. They're also actually going to be having an, uh, an Orchid fairly soon. I want to say about 25 minutes. Who should be able to at least have it already then? So. That means that the storm with his uh, bloodstone is actually going to be in a lot of problems, or yeah. they won't be able to get off a. Uh... Oh no, they're mm. actually going to go in on hook and they just burst him down. <laughs> oh shit, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, this is what I have thought. That even means that the the beastmaster, if he gets orchid, that they lose their lockdown through BKB. So, will either stop their movements in the team fight on Milan, or it will make sure that they can't keep anybody down. Yeah. And. Force them to go after him. It's, it's a good pickup there if you can get it in a decent time. At least you get the tier 2 here, by the way, from ISM. Yep. Been softened up before, so it should be easy finishing. A lot of extra gold going the way of Gohi, more importantly. He's going for that BKB now. Most likely after the plate mail. Yeah, so, uh, it would be quite odd to be building a uh, Desolator right now. Yeah. And you need to be able to get those, yeah. those attacks <laughs> off, and once you start getting vacuumed. Crushed, magic missile, and it won't get off even then the burst that drop down on you, it's just gonna be so tough. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that you still have to be worried about though is that amplified damage that goes through BKB and can make you extremely squishy here at this point in the game. I mean, he has 11 armor, which is absolutely nothing. It's gonna be, yeah, completely negated by amplified damage, only at level 2. Minus 15 on that, and yeah, if you're not careful, if you're just a little bit too confident farming out too far forward away from your team, you just get picked off once and then get, get picked off twice as well. Or we see something that happens like last time with really drawn out team fight where the reinforcements were just coming a little bit more well timed from BB. And then they just <laughs> got a couple more kills there on their side. Yeah, it was, but that, that team fight was just so big with killing Gogi. Oh, yeah. Milan, he has his Bloodstone now. He is actually going to be getting a uh, BKB as well. He already got the Ogre Club on the career. Yeah, he kind of needs this for the same reason that Gogi does. Yeah. And also makes him, uh, well, the target that you don't <laughs> want to work it anymore. Yeah. But that means that actually uh, Mitch is going to have a pretty terrible time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It would, it would just shift the target, like. He, there's no reason to stop the organ now. If you keep Mitch down, you essentially just keep their the biggest lockdown away. And with him going the the zookeeper's build, there's no way you have a BKB anytime soon. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, what that necrobook will allow him to do is uh, start split pushing. They still have some targets here down on bottom lane uh, with the tier one still being up, so that'll will be his next target. But then at the same time, you have to be super, super careful. You, ha you have to try and get some vision up, which is kind of hard to do if there's some gem on the enemy team. To actually get some safe vision there, um, to make sure that you don't get jumped on by Queen of Pain, because I mean, all the necro books in the world are not going to protect you up against that kind of burst damage. Not at all. <laughs> and yeah, with the BKB, it doesn't even matter that you have necro books. Like, is necro units or what? What they're gonna do versus in BKB, they they don't give yeah. out the damage when they die. They don't have yeah. the mana drain. Like they're not actually giving them anything. And until he gets level three necro books to deward with or something, it's not the biggest pick off. And 
it's, um, they're not just gonna be they're not gonna be able to just push anyway like they're gonna defend just lane just with the birds already yeah but speaking of birds you look at visage's build i mean he he had the point booster for quite a while but then he uh, came back from it for that medallion instead of trying to finish up that axe straight off the bat um uh, i think you saw like gogi might have done uh, gogi what the hell was wrong with me jeps was not able to get the uh the money in time so they just switched yeah. it over but it, it, it's a fine pickup on him enemy on him anyway it, it doesn't delay it that much and it just makes him that more tanky it helps out just helps out <coughs> the team and once rush is back up in what a minute yeah then uh well it will fall in in just a matter of well seconds yeah. <laughs> what is it this is 15. well 15 from slada plus the six, six. six. Plus, uh, seven. Yeah, plus the six plus seven so it's quite a lot 28. <laughs> yeah. So that's not going to be a long living uh, Russian. Going to be like, hey guys, I'm back, family, I'm home, kids. Yeah, and I'm dead. Please, please, uh, please make sure that the, that the Roche pit isn't littered with stout shields. Yeah. Then, yeah, his family comes in, and his family's like, BB, like, come on, dad, Roshi, Roche dad. Give well, us all we your will money make you feel and, home. And your ages. <laughs> It just is worth money, right? So let's give us, let's just give it, give us that. Give us cheese as well. We want it now. Yeah. And Christine, he tries to dewalk here, but that's a mistake because there are the birds, and there is also a miracle. <laughs> he just easy crush, amplify damage, and then there. And now he gets his sentry dewarded. <laughs> yeah. These are the kind of plays that that you point to if you want to uh, talk about slot and competitive scene. And Normally you see Loda on him a lot, pretty much solely uh, in, the top, in the top teams when, whenever lines pick it up and they run it in exactly the same way. Out of the one position, uh, get a quick BKB or a quick link dagger, maybe a Vanguard depending on, on what kind of game you're in. And then just go to town, stop fighting, farm less, find kills more. And yeah, Miracles is not being as aggressive as Loda is sometimes right now, but... And yeah, it's probably only because they want to secure the brochure in there. Yeah. And, but Maybe they will need to send out. somebody back because they're gonna try and get this tier 3. Oh. Hook is walking in there right now. And as well as the Coon, but it will take some time. So it will be at least about half, I think, before they really have to defend it. There you go. Actually, Hook has to walk out. They can just go in and they know that this is going. They might try to defend it somehow, but I don't think they actually can. No, it's gonna go on Hook though. Here as well, with the wall, Hook stay is still alive, thanks to the BKB and the blink out. Kuhn's still alive, will not, will fall, no! Miran does not have enough amount to pursue, Gogi will come back, but that is the teleport now. Uh, no lockdown for him. It was, was really almost pretty damn close, man, here for Hook. Yeah, the, the one thing, they could have actually gotten a kill there after Gogi came back. But because he respawned in the middle of the wall, <laughs> he just got an instant damage stick there. So he can't blink. <laughs> But that must have annoyed him. <laughs> Look at this miracle, he's going aggressive. Ooh. He knows where Mitch is. He's gonna get it, there's gonna be the crush. Mystic Flare though, he pops his BKB. And Mitch, he's just taking so much damage. Milan goes in and they used the roar onto Miracle here. They're gonna try and turn this one around. He does have the Aegis, so this, even if he falls just once, it's still fine. Grazine is caught in the, in the corner here. Like, what are they gonna <laughs> do to get him out? Well, they're, okay, they're able to just squeeze it through there. Kuhn is coming in as well. Miracle is still stuck there. He's finding Chris the Necro units, but the... Oh, man, the finger there just kills him up. They're gonna go after the Kuhn as well. They just keep on fighting him. Vacuum is there, but there is no wall. And they're gonna go after him. He does... Yes, use Surge already now, and he can blink out here. That mobility here on the Kuhn effect, that was the only thing that let them survive as well. Oh, maybe. Maybe I spoke too soon. Don't go in deep here. Hope it's still there with the ultimate at the ready. Can get a pretty good Sonic Wave if he wants. And with no ultimate on Wraith King, he will be down, going down for good. Soul Assumption charged up. Should be enough death here on the line with a couple of extra right clicks. And now Milan out of mana tries to teleport out. Is there any lock on? Yes, there is. Familiar stuns. Mitch at the same time tries to 9 so And <laughs> Dusty 9 off the new speed. So good on him, but Milan still. The nice! <laughs> oh, oh Sonic Wave! Real. Just too late! Oh my god, that was oh, close! Man. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Uh, this, this whole fight started with no extension from Miracle and Slaughter. Going like one on. It was, was quickly became three or four. I almost got the, uh, the RNG Lords to work in his favor as well, but that first bash on, on the on Mitch, but he finally got the raw off and 
Dead point and turn around. Maybe a little bit of a mistake popping the BKB before the Aegis came out. Yeah, he just wanted to get a quick kill. He just denied uh, the magic damage and uh, so Brazina is dead right now. Mitch go Milan goes in, I mean, but he, he can't really get anything there apart from just a lot of ships and mana. Gone. Yeah. He has some free mana. Yeah, zip, 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 zip. <laughs> but yeah, he can just walk back to the base. He's fairly close anyway. Yeah, this... Still, the BB really did get that fight into their favor. Well, you might also say that Mayan Sentry also overextended after that. Just keep going after Ku and try to get the yeah. kill there. Like They could have just let him go there and not suffer those 3 to 4 deaths. I definitely feel some pressure to try and make something happen to get some kills to get back into this game. Because if you look at the, gra at the graphs, but still a 7,500 gold lead for BB uh, around that same area for experience as well. So I, I can definitely understand my insanity wanting to go for these kind of plays. Because if they if they made it happen, then it would probably also have taken it to one of that. So that would put the game right back to even. But yeah, that was not to be. Yeah, now they're just gonna lose their tier two here on the on top instead without being able to get the tier one. But they might actually want to fight this one. They go in there. Gogi goes in. He blinks in, but there's gonna be this weapon hook though. He focuses we can be now in the back line as well. Jeptor is being focused on. He will be killed off. Mystic Flare is just hitting nobody actually right now. And they're gonna keep on fighting. And Miracle gets another kill into his Gogi. He is gonna go down. He has reincarnation though. Milan's trying to zip around. Is he able to get the game? No, he will leave it there on the ground. Well, at the same time, BB just focused down miracle there uh, miracle for me i mean gogi and now grazine is the next person on the list here and he's gonna <laughs> die here right now those right clicks from hook Ew. oh that amplified damage doing some work here on that poop oil skyrocket and now that should be a sand racks with no buybacks up and running only milan there who can at most annoy them yeah maybe the get it to be and see through them while yeah. being but yeah, in the end, the wrecks are gonna fall. That's something that's just unavoidable right now. And, uh, yeah, once I, again, one of these things with where it can pop from the BKB, maybe before the ultimate. And uh, as once again, that swap. I mean, they were going on hook, which is kind of a slippery target to begin with. Um, and so if you if don't you kill him down before, him down. before he can get out, then you have yeah. a problem with the swap. He is guaranteed to get out. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, this was was essentially what kind of won them the fight here. Miracle also nothing left for him for, to lock down him down, so he was able to just pop amplify damage and absolutely everyone get the couple of good good crushes off and yeah. yeah. The one fight for BB and now they're even further ahead and almost insurmountable lead now. Yeah, it's 12k over 12k gold, near in the 14k. And insurmountable. See what it did there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <I did. laughs> And yeah, they're gonna go for uh, for a little bit of a desperation smoke here with my insanity. They smoke up, they're gonna try and look for something, but that's what they're gonna fight. Well, they're not even gonna fight Jepsir because he has an ace burn. <laughs> so, and even if they find, uh, let's say, Gogi or the Kuhn, like, Goon is actually pretty tanky. He has a nice amount of armor, he got uh, some griefs on him. And uh, Well, they do have, of course, all the magical bursts, but you, yeah, then you get the Kuhn, like, whoop de do. Oh, okay. kill. Oh, oh, that might be a little bit difficult for him. He is almost down, and he's gonna die here due to the fact that he can't blink away. Well, that was worth it. Yeah. He can be down. It was, it was one of these dark moments, and the episode might just die as well, and I caught out in my position. Not to point out of time, but yeah, that was it's kind of one of these dark moments as a queen of pain, where just like, oh, well, nothing's going on, let's just blink across here to your palms. So you can't be like, holy shit, BKB. But then the roar and plenty of damage, and because he because he had to uh, blink, or because he did blink in, he didn't have to blink off cooldown in time to blink out. Otherwise, he would have probably survived there if he had to blink again. Yeah, but that's uh, yeah, that just didn't happen. That was like super pain uh, to kill him there. It would have been faster if he didn't pop the BKB. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's also his BK seven second BKB da charge down. Playing Miracle does get stopped from his TP, but Milan should not regret this. He has some help on the way. Miracle just trying to walk his way up, has to pop the BKB to dodge the lion stun. Yeah, that should be that actually. Yeah, he will survive. Boon is even running in as well as backup. That yeah, guy in Greed should bring Miracle back up to full speed, but he wants to go back to base anyway, it seems. Yeah, oh yeah, picked up the Soul Curas on the way, so that's actually pretty damn scary here. 
And now the minus armor is just just completely real. Yeah. Oh god. Fight in the jungle. Oh no. Bitch they goes get, down. Goes they get the, jab sir, but... yeah. Almost yeah. nice to just a right click here and then cover up the BKB TP. Yeah. Get an amplified damage on top of that there, then that would have been a dead Brave King for sure. Yeah, they, they only get Mitch now with it, with the kill going the way of... Uh... Stuff. Yeah. Like, what's my city gonna do? Because their death was just also really aggressive from them going into their jungle, of course. But they need to try and make plays, and when you're trying to force those kind of things, it also just yeah. it just end the game for you. The thing is, you, you can't just uh, can't just divide the resources like that. I mean, they had uh, Mitch and Gogi down there in the bot jungle, and they had Mila and Sport on top of you trying to uh, fight the slaughter there. And at this point in the game. You just can't afford to have have your, have your forces split up like that. I mean, if if you want to, if you have to commit for ganks, then really commit, right? With with your whole team, pick off someone quickly, then either retreat or maybe if you see a good opportunity for a fight, and you can pursue that, pursue more heroes. I mean, kind of like the day down there with uh, with that smoke that got hooked as well as the Abzu. But you can't yeah, just so the one be problem like, is okay, this, smoking this yeah. at the moment, which is fairly obvious as well. Yeah. Like your top lane is being pushed in all the time, yeah. and they're just making sure that all the other lanes are also uh, just pushed in at all times. So yeah, like if you smoke, it's quite obvious that you're not defending your base. Yeah, uh, it makes it really tough. I'm just wondering what the next set of items are going to be for some people. Like Gogi, he is also going to going to build an uh, AC. He should have it in about yeah, two K gold. Yeah, <laughs> it's still quite a ways, quite a yeah. ways away though. <laughs> but yeah, you, you do need it up against um, up against the Slala as AC now. And no question about that. I mean, Rave King's actually keeping up quite nicely in terms of network. Mina too. Mina at twelve thousand, not too shabby himself with a decent amount of bloodstone charges. And I didn't lose any, didn't gain any over the course of since he had it. Yeah. yeah, apart from that, you only have to DKB, no extra aggressive item, which you would really like as on the Storm Spirit at this point. Something like a Saif or an Orchid or anything of the sort here to actually help you with getting the pickups quickly. Yeah, so far he's just been a little bit stuck there on his progression. But honestly, the same really goes for Hook. Like, yes, he only has his BKB and Orchid. So. What is he going to be building next? I'm going to assume they're going to start building maybe sides. Yeah. Even the Shivas would be good after the BKBs have worn down and would just, you know, kite, uh, Gogi around all the time. Yeah, I would I would say Scythe though. Just That's... for just for the Wraith King, make sure that you that you can kite him even more. I mean, the Shivas can do something like that as well, but... Uh, I don't, know, don't really think you need to slow down anyone else. I mean, it's not going to affect Milan anyway. The support is slow as hell as it is. and. Yeah, Mitch, I mean... And you also decide, I don't know. if you use the site on Milan, that's even better. Yeah. That's the hero that you want to make sure that does, yeah. can't move around. Like, Gogi, you can just kite by just walking. Milan, yeah. he will... Yeah, you can just kite him by walking. He will just zip after you. Yeah, yeah I would agree. He was not so good against the storm, but the sheep stick definitely is. And I was going to smoke out, trying to bait out uh, Gogi a little bit down here in the bottom lane. And yep. yeah, the scout smoke immediately from BB. Yeah, like both are sensing something is going on, and they're actually also sensing that Rush is back, so they're probably both gearing up for a fight around there. It's, it's just so beautiful to see these things, and they happen quite frequently, actually. If you if you look for those, one team smokes, and the other team smokes as well, and they end up following these paths that like all around have the them map, like ships in the night, and now. <laughs> The question becomes who jo who finds a job and who first. And now, yeah, that radiant opens up what did spot out Gogi. Yeah, but now, uh, <laughs> now they're like they're here on the dire side and like, yes. yeah, what do we need? <laughs> but the problem is, my sanity, they need to go back to their base. Like they're gonna lose yeah. ours. <laughs> so. Tier is on the stage. I mean, the rest of the billions of the buffer buildings are being taken out by the mega creeps. So. Yeah, the first energy creeps, falls. So. Oh man. That's just a big morality, uh, morale uh, dumper. Like you, you just need those FGs, man. Get your pride on the line there. Yeah, this. Yeah, they're going to be Yeah, can't look at it anymore. 
Now they see that, then that's their opening for Roshan. Yeah, like, because they can't fight now with any Milan. If they yeah, go they in and fight now, they're just gonna lose. And Milan, he knows it, and he's gonna start running towards uh, Russia right now. Oh, Are they gonna make, make it some time? Uh oh, go Lizard goes in there. Nice uh, Earth Spike coming out there. Milan goes into the backline, tries Miracle. But Rush is still alive here right now. They're just fighting around it. They can't kill him off right now. Is Google able to pick it up? No, Hook is gonna get it. And now they're going after Milan here. He's able to zip out for now. And now Gogi, he's gonna just get guided around for hell. He is gonna get a stun into Jepster, but he just has to keep on running. And there you go. He still has Blade Mill on, but it doesn't really matter. They're gonna get the reincarnation now, and now he's gonna fall again. Magic Missile is there, and yeah, he, he's just a dead piggy. That was a Herculean effort here to bring down Miracle there, and that's actually a lot of gold going away of MYI, but after that. I mean, Gogi at this point, I mean, you, if you're a Wraith King at this point, you're supposed to be too scared, uh, you know, too scary to for the enemy team to try and fight you at all, right? But he, he just isn't. I mean, the rest of the team, Mitch, I mean, before Miracle died, he was at like 20 health points, give or take, he got the Amplified Damage and Beastmaster off and like two shot him. Maybe with some help, but yeah. Um, yeah, Milan probably used all of, his, all of his mana, and then all of a sudden it's only Gogi there. And Rave King isolated, not that scary. Not at all. If you have, even without the amplified damage on him, that's so much minus armor between the medallion and the wave of terror. They did. Well, it's actually so just right click and down. And, and Solar Crest now, of course, yeah. That's actually. Oh, no, actually no, it's actually like. 10 minus armor on that instead of 7, okay. And with the miss chances, and the, oh no, oh, he gets swept in and he's just blown up. Ouch! That hurts. It's just something you must feel in your heart there. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you just get blown up by pretty much the offlaner and two supports like this, that's, then you know you're in a tough spot. And they are like over 15k in both gold and experience. Yeah. That's pretty tough. And one Rex down, they're gonna go for the second Rex now. We still have the Aegis and Hook. So, Miracle, he gets another spike. But don't really see MYI coming back from those minutes. Well, they will try it though. Miracle, faster. Gogi goes in and he just gets, well, killed. <laughs> Reincarnation pops, he does start chipping in. Goon, he's gonna get pulled back. He might actually be bursting down before getting able to do anything. He's gonna get wall off right now and oh no, Gogi is actually dead. This is already too dead. Buyback from Gogi. Miracle's going after Grazine, he should be able to get him right now. Milan, however, is the next target here on the bottom and Hook is able to side him up and kill him down right now. Milan comes back, big zip in. He's gonna go after Jepser, but it doesn't matter, he just gets killed. And this might just be GG. Yeah. Um. This, yeah. <laughs> uh. Ow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's kind of all you can say to that, right? But yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah there you go. Pure desperation. Yeah, just. They didn't get. They did get the cool at the end. So. <laughs> I guess it's something that that's about all they get. And that's the point where they say, "All right." I, I think work. they just said easy plus thirty six. So I think. Both of them just played first each other in match, uh, yeah, match, uh, rank yeah. ranked matchmaking, what is wrong with <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I think we that's didn't... something that they're going in on today. It, yeah, well, it's, I don't think it's about fantasy points, so. No, it's not. No, you, Slardar, Miracle, does have a nice amount of uh, points going his way. Well, it's Abu Dhabi. But yeah, that was actually it for today, we had... Three best of ones, and they're all played out right now. I'm gonna take a quick look into the schedule, at least to see what the next matches are. So, for the semi final, we have uh, let's see, we have BBC or Balkan Bears versus uh, London Conspiracy. For the other semi final, we have uh, Hey Hey United winning from Vega, which was fairly unexpected to be happening. And they will be playing versus PR, another one of the top contesters for the Mountain Trail Challenge. And in the uh, well, the lower bracket, another best of one we will have there though. That's gonna be scary for uh, BB play versus Moscow. Uh, for my Senti, I mean to play versus Moscow five. And the other matchup is Vega versus Scary Faces. Both are all are fighting just for their survival. We'll see how those goes. And I want to thank Dragon Drop again for joining me here with casting. And yeah. Man, just follow us, uh, at least follow our channel here, just check out our votes, follow our Twitter, follow our, what is it, our Facebook, we got all of those things. And I believe, well, Dragon, you also have a Twitter, I believe? Uh, yeah, that's at DragonDropDota. 
one word without any fancy numbers or something. Just drag and drop Dota uh, on Twitter and then best way to find me. And well, those were the messages for today. And well, I hope to see you guys all soon again. And yeah, we're going to be signing out.